Hare Krishna. A pure devotee of Lord Sri Krishna has no business here in this material world. They come here solely to teach us how to live in complete surrender to God. In this episode, we present another beautiful Leela of Srila Gurudev which took place during his time as a householder. This story strengthens our faith in the holy name of Lord Hari and teaches us the power of unwavering devotion. Recently, we had the opportunity to visit Gadegiri for darshan of Srila Gurudev's beloved deity, Sri Gopalju. There we met Srila Gurudev's senior disciple from his first batch, Gokulananda Prabhu. Having taken Banaprastha, Gokulananda Prabhu now lives in the service of Gopal at Gadegiri. During our conversation, he shared a very inspiring Leela of Srila Gurudev which occurred in 1980. At that time, Iskon Bhubaneswar consisted of a handmade hut by Srila Gurudev. It had two rooms. One served as Prabhupada's Vajan Kutir and the other was where Srila Gurudev lived. There were no other facilities or arrangements in ISKCON at that time. Occasionally, Srila Gurudev's godbrother, His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj would visit and stay during the day living at night. Srila Gurudev would offer his room to his Guru Vrata while he stayed outside. One day when His Holiness Jayapataka Swami Maharaj visited, Srila Gurudev left his room and was sitting outside under a tree. Gokulananda Prabhu happened to visit the ashram that day and saw Srila Gurudev sitting there. He had the good fortune to spend some time with him and asked Srila Gurudev a question that had been troubling him. Gokulananda Prabhu shared his concerns with Srila Gurudev saying, Gurudev, you always speak about complete faith in the name of God, but I have a government job and a family. Many problems keep arising in life. Amidst all this, how can one develop firm faith and complete surrender to the name of God? Srila Gurudev smiled as if he knew the thoughts in Gokulananda Prabhu's heart and began narrating an incident from his previous ashram during his time as a householder. Srila Gurudev recounted the events of October 29, 1971 when a massive super cyclone struck the area. At that time, Srila Gurudev, known as Brajabandhu Manik in his household life, was living in a rented mud house with a thatched roof in Kujanga, Jagasingpur. The house was located at the end of the village. In those days, the communication system was not strong and no one knew about the impending super cyclone. As evening approached, the wind began to blow, gradually becoming stronger. There was no electricity and the wind was so fierce that they couldn't even light a lamp. Darkness engulfed everything and the sound of the wind was terrifying, as if it would blow away the entire world. Srila Gurudev, his wife and their seven children huddled together in the middle of the room, anxiously waiting for the wind to subside, but it only grew stronger. The sound of trees falling could be heard, adding to the fear. The children, all young, began to cry, and Srila Gurudev's wife also became distressed, worrying about what would happen to them. Srila Gurudev reassured his family, saying, Don't be afraid, nothing will happen to us. All of you chant Hari's name. Chant the name loudly. The entire family began chanting. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. As time passed, the wind grew even stronger. Suddenly, the roof of their house was blown away, and they found themselves under the open sky. The children cried even louder, and it began to rain. Srila Gurudev stood up with an umbrella, but as soon as he opened it, the umbrella broke and flew away in the wind. Srila Gurudev instructed his family to move towards the south wall for shelter. They followed his guidance. After staying there for a few minutes, Gurudev said again, Let us leave this place, and they went to the other corner of the room. And shortly after, the wall they had just left collapsed with a loud noise. Everyone looked at Srila Gurudev in amazement. 
but he calmly told them to continue chanting the name of Hari. Now standing in the open with no roof or walls, Srila Gurudev understood that no material shelter could protect them. He told his family, Why are we trying to take shelter in this house when we know that in the three walls nothing else can give us shelter except God? Our only refuge is Harinam. If someone takes refuge in Harinam, then there is no need to worry. Srila Gurudev then picked up a strong palm leaf mat and held it tightly above them to protect his family from the rain and wind. He continued chanting the name loudly and his family joined him. The fierce wind raged on throughout the night, but they remained unharmed, sheltered by Srila Gurudev's faith in the holy name. When dawn finally came, the wind had slowed down and the rain stopped. Srila Gurudev put down the mat and immediately began searching for his beloved deity Gopal. He always kept a photo of Gopal with him, and despite the destruction around them, he found Gopal safe and smiling within a metal box. With that, Srila Gurudev felt relieved. In the morning, when the storm had subsided, some of Srila Gurudev's school colleagues and villagers came to search for him, fearing the worst. They had assumed that the cyclone must have claimed the lives of Brajabandhu Manik and his family, especially after seeing the devastation where his house once stood. The roads were filled with uprooted big trees, so it was not easy for them to reach Gurudev's place. When reached, to their astonishment, they found Srila Gurudev and his entire family alive without a single scratch. Overjoyed, they hugged him and asked how he had survived the deadly cyclone. Srila Gurudev replied simply, Last night I took refuge in Harinam. The villagers, not fully understanding, asked again, expecting him to name a physical place of refuge. But Srila Gurudev repeated, I took refuge in Harinam. On another occasion, we asked Guruma about this incident. She recalled, how on that night, while Srila Gurudev stood holding the mat over them, she thought of Krishna protecting the Brijvasi by holding Govardhan Hill. She felt that Srila Gurudev was similarly protecting them by holding the mat. This Leela took place on October 29, 1971, when the super cyclone devastated Orissa, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. According to government figures, over 10,000 people died and more than 50,000 cattle perished. The cyclone destroyed approximately 800,000 houses, with the Kujang area in Jagasingpur district where Srila Gurudev lived being the hardest hit. Hearing this Leela from Srila Gurudev, Gokulananda Prabhu's doubts vanished and his faith in the name of God became stronger. As we mentioned at the beginning, an Acharya lives to teach us through example. Srila Gurudev had such deep faith in Harinam that even a powerful cyclone could not harm him or his family. This Leela reminds us that the divine name of God as extracted from all the scriptures is non-different from God himself. All Acharyas teach us to take refuge in the name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna. After hearing this Leela of Srila Gurudev, we too pray for His grace so that one day we may develop such unwavering faith in Harinam. Hare Krishna.